Greetings, greetings, and welcome to another episode of Subnautica. I have actually taken a lot of what you've said to heart. I've had a lot of really great comments and a lot of really great information given to me. One thing I wanted to talk about was kind of like the, what I want to call the concentration triangle. There is a kind of an area that starts at up at the depth meter at the top of the screen, and it's like diagonal lines going out to the sides and down. Everything in that area you focus on, the hot bar, the information in the lower left-hand corner, um, uh, you get pop-ups in the lower right-hand corner or above the hot bar sometimes when something goes into your inventory. There's a lot of stuff, gorgeous celestial body stuff in this, but there's a lot of mechanics you just don't see because the text is too small or it's badly placed or something. So I tend to focus and I've been missing a lot of little details and a lot of little things. First of all, isn't this gorgeous? I love these creep vines. Honestly, I don't really need these anymore. I just want to leave this here for the sake of lighting. They're really gorgeous. Let's go in here. Um, okay, first big news. I thought I had the Seamoth modification station. I don't, I have this thing, which you have all been telling me, hey, Vagrim, you really need to make one of these. Uh, it's got survival knife upgrades, thermal blade. I'd love to have a hardened, but I haven't found any diamonds yet. Uh, thermal blade, uh, increased air tank for extra air capacity. Hey, look, instead of 105, it's 165, yeah. Um, swim fins, there's ultra glide fins and swim charge fins, well. I have the swim charge fins on, which basically means that it cuts down on the battery drain for the sea glide. It also means that I can actually get this fun little light stick thing. If I wanted to, I can actually place this. Let's go outside real quick. Go over here. And you see, I am a little slower, especially when I have this out. But basically, with I can swim around with this thing in my hand and keep it at 100% now. So I have an AE light. What's even better is I can Plunk, plunk this thing down, do a little bit of swimming around, work in an area, come back, pick it up, and with just a little bit of swimming, I can charge it back up. It's really good. I actually like this thing. It's great for deep cave diving, and the swim fins mean that uh, it lasts even longer, basically indefinitely. Uh, the Sea Glide has its power usage significantly reduced with the uh, swim fins. Now, it is not completely gone, <laughs> as you probably noticed. I do have some ultra glide fins, but because of this thing and because it helps with cut, cut costs down on batteries for this, I have been actually using the charge things. Um, I've taken off my radiation suit and I've taken off my radiation helmet and gloves because, well, the radiation around the uh, Aurora is gone now. It's cleaned up. I have a, a rebreather now. I have a still suit, which of course I've had for a while, and now we got this, no other gloves as it stands right now. Um, okay, one other big detail that a lot of you actually, is, well, first of all, one other thing that I've made that it's, it's basic equipment, I could have made it for a while now, is you just right click and it rapid ascends you to the top. It's this little bubble thing that you right click again, and it expends all the gas, and I can reuse it over and over. So like, if I go down here, I need to get to the top now. I just right click on this thing and it gets faster and faster and faster. And there we go. I am up at the top and I have to fight this thing. I can't go any lower. It literally will not let me. I have to right click it again and expel all the gas in it to turn it off. It's a fun little device. I really like it. Very useful, especially since you can use it over and over again. Uh, let's go inside the base real quick. Uh, let's see, big changes. Um, all titanium ingots. This is copper, lead. I don't know what other uses I'm gonna have for lead. I'm starting to wonder. I, I might, I'm, I'm starting to wonder if I need to collect it anymore. Got a little, couple of things of gold, some silver ore. Um, this is all quartz and salt and crash powder and yada, yada, yada. Um, this is all water. Uh, some big filtered things. I have unplugged that machine now, but I have a whole bunch of these back, uh, back stock. Um, I've got <laughs> these reclaimed water bags being made by my still suit now. And honestly, I can probably take that thing off. Um, this is just for gear. 
I'm actually gonna put that over there for the time being. Uh, all of this is just raw titanium. That's it. Uh, this is all my other final product stuff. So yeah, um, this thing is very cool. Propulsion cannon upgrades, the repulsion cannon. Cyclops upgrades, but I have to have the Cyclops first, of course. Um, thermo blade. I actually made one of those. Uh, it's a heated blade. I have no clue. Let me show you real quick what this thing looks like because it's kind of trippy. You see? It kind of boils in the water. I have no clue. It seems to behave exactly like a knife. Uh, it doesn't really seem to do any more damage to the bad guy, so I'm not sure. Um, decoratives. I kind of balanced him out a little bit. The green wall. And, dun da da dum I have an indoor planter with a whole bunch of fruit trees. So now, I can go over here. I've got some purple vegetables. Those give food, but not a lot of moisture. These things, I, I, I wasn't 100% sure what these were going to be good for until somebody clued me in. Let's see. So I'm just going to... There we go. That is perfect. If we go over here, this is one thing that a lot of you have been telling me and I really do appreciate it, is that I can put more than just creep vines in here. Any materials. Matter of fact, creep vines are the worst. It, decom it composts organic items, anything organic. As a matter of fact, you said that I could be putting my air sac fish in here. Uh, uh, somebody suggested making a fish farm. I thought that was actually a very interesting idea. One thing I might do, though, is move some indoor planters from here in here and just put the mushrooms, because I can kill one mushroom and fuel this thing, and I think the mushrooms actually do pretty good on power. I wish there was a readout on how much, you know, like, is this one 50% uh, composted, and then it goes to this one, this one, this one, or what, you know? But yeah, I think that's gonna be really cool. Uh, here's a bigger thing. Uh, I don't have the Seamoth modification station. I've gone back to the Aurora several times and tried to actually find it, but I don't have it. So we can make a Seamoth, but I won't be able to really do any major changes to it, which is mm, a pity, but whatever. Um, for right now, one thing that I think I want to do, everything up on the third and fourth floor is the same. It's still fish tank. Uh, I want to get the builder. I'm going to go out here. Uh, for now, I think I'm going to deconstruct this stuff real quick, specifically because a lot of you also told me something else very, very critical. Boom. Okay. Um, attached components. Okay, apparently I'm going to have to do this the hard way first. Um, one thing that a lot of you said very, very specifically was I need to build foundations. Foundations add to the structural integrity. So, Captain. what I'm going to do real quick. Whoopsie. Wrong button. This is going to lower our structural integrity a bit. We still have tons and tons of structural integrity. Now, a big chunk of that is because I went back to that island and found two lone pieces of lithium. Oh, that's another thing you folks told me is that I need to go to the mushroom biome. It will give me more lithium. That message has been received. I will make a trip there in the near future. Uh, what I think I'm gonna do in the meantime, though, I'm gonna I'm going to rearrange some things. Uh, let's see. Let's deconstruct this. I think I'm gonna... Oh. Inventory full! Okay, so... First things first. Um, I've got this pad over here. I want to do... 
Oh, actually, that is one thing I want to do. Yeah. Let's go over here. Let's go ahead and finish this. I'm going to leave it. Here's another tip that everybody gave me, and I'm very, very grateful for. If you look up there in the upper left-hand corner, rotate QE. Uh, it's not very well advertised. There we go. I'm going to put that right there. Um, Actually, no, it's not what I wanted. Yeah. Okay, let's bring this up. Uh, plus two hit points for the actual foundations. If you look, these only add, might subtract one hit point, whereas these subtract... Um, actually, no, these subtract one also, so it doesn't seem to really matter much. But I think it'll make the connections go a lot um, smoother. Let's... nope. Here we go. I'm going to put... Uh, There we go. Let's put that right there. Swim down underneath. I've actually got tons of air now, thanks to this extended tank. Just zip down on this. I'm going to see if I can extend... don't think can let's put that away temporarily I'm gonna pick up the beacon I don't know if that's what was messing with things or what nope 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 there is no rotation on that you cannot rotate it it's place it however you can apparently Oh, I do want to put one right there. There we go. I'm actually going to go ahead and see if I can make... There it is, moon pool room. Oh, wait a minute, no. First, I need to do... There we go. Let's put that there. I'm hoping I'm going to have enough spare parts. I do. Yeah, I can't rotate that. I have to orient it specific ways. Hmm. Okay, let's redo that and then see if we can do... There we go. Is that going to connect? It is. There we go. So I think Ten seconds of the oxygen left. That's okay. We're going to go there. Six, three. Ooh, there we go. So I'm hoping that this is going to help with things at least a little bit. I didn't catch what the actual hull integrity is at. Let's go upstairs. Let's get one of these bad boys. 32. I think that'll be fine. I'm going to put one of these way up here, I guess. <laughs> oh, need more titanium. I have got loads of that. I got to remember to put my beacon back. Um... Okay. Awesome. Awesome. 
put that back. I have a little bit extra of this stuff. I don't... Ooh, that's going to be a problem. Well, let's actually take care of, first of all, that. I'm going to put that there. We need to go back out here. And I've been tucking this kind of behind, up and under. Um, let's do it. Right click right there. Whoop, no. Edit beacon label. Perfect. There's HQ. I really do love the glow of these creep vines. Okay, so there's one more thing that I want to take care of. Um... Actually, you know what? And whoever said that this fruit is awesome is right. I was warned, however, that it apparently doesn't keep. It doesn't have a very good shelf life, but it grows so fast. One of those planter beds and that's it. I could put two of those planter beds in back in my uh, bioreactor. Oh, wait a minute. We need to go check on that real quick. Inactive. See, it's kind of hard to tell. I wish there was some kind of an efficiency number on this stuff. But we got tons of power and daylight's making more, so whatever. Um, honestly, the reactor, I, I probably don't need to be fretting about it as much since I turned off that filtration thing. I think it's going to be a bigger issue when we actually make a sea moth, which is, guess what? What I'm about to do. I need to remind my... Yeah, that's the right thing. Remind myself real quick. So, okay, there's lots of things that have changed from the old game save to this game save, right? Uh, I need a power cell, titanium ingot, two glass, and lubricant. Do I have a spare battery? Do you have a spare power cell? Um, what was that? Titanium ingot, two glass, and lubricant. Um, two glass, lubricant, titanium ingot, basically, That's going to just bob up to the top. Um, what the hell was I talking about? Can't remember. I'm sidetracked now. Wow. Um, yes, this is next. Plasteel ingots. I don't know if I have those. I have to go find more. Uh, I think plasteel requires lithium. Why do you guys build it so high up? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, um, pick up. There we go. And where did the... Well, there it is. Okay, woo, I was about to say, where'd it go? So now we not only have a Seamoth. This is gonna be a little bit of a tight fit, but whatever. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. I like that. Then I get, whoa, popped out. Okay, I get spit out of it over here. That's fine. Welcome aboard, Captain. So now we have our trusty Seamoth. Uh, oh, that's what I was supposed to actually touch. Um, we actually have upgrades slots. I can't make any upgrades yet, though, because I don't have the Seamoth modification station. Um, enter Seamoth. It is fully charged. So this is going to now take some of our actual power. Uh, every time I dock it here, it's actually going to be... Um, using power from the base. Let's see if I can just dig this out a little bit. Give ourselves a little bit more working room. Well, this is one of those aspects a lot of people don't realize you can do in Subnautica. Uh, um, is dig. <laughs> so, uh, it gets more and more like Minecraft in comparison every day. No, it doesn't. It's actually pretty it's pretty different from Minecraft, but whatever. Um, so, okay, I remember what I was talking about earlier. Differences between the old game and this game. There is no longer... There are no longer... Sorry, let me correct myself. 
There are no longer uh, blueprint fragments for the Seamoth. Uh, those little boxes that you find that you have to scan, you don't find those anymore for the Seamoth. Instead, what you find... That was weird. Uh, instead, what you find is actual wreck fragments of the Seamoth. You will actually find chunks of a dead sea moth. It's, it's almost like it exploded, and you have to scan those. It's the same way now as it has always been for the Cyclops. I don't think I have ever found... Do I have enough? Um, I think I have everything but the Plasteel ingots. How do I make the Plasteel? Let me confirm what I need for that. Yeah, lithium. Okay, so I'm going to have to find a forest... Or, um, let's see, I'm going to have to find an actual forest for that. That's not going to be fun. I'm going to bring that back over, leave that in slot form. And, um, yeah, it's going to be time now to take this out on an adventure. I want to go, let me see if I can get my orientation here. Let's go outside real quick. It's nighttime, that doesn't help anymore. Um, okay, so Aurora's here. I actually want to go 180 degrees that way, I think. There should be a mushroom biome down there. Now that I've actually got the, um... I don't think I... Yeah, okay. I had one uh, solar panel there and a whole bunch here. Um, now that I've got the, uh, sea moth. I don't, and I've got a moon pool. I don't have to worry about swapping out the batteries unless I'm way out in the middle of nowhere, which is why I'm still going to carry a spare power cell with me, uh, just in case. But we can actually go on a little bit of an adventure uh, right now. And I'm going to torture you and make that be the next episode. <laughs> um, basic, oh, thank you, Reclaim Water. Basically, I really do appreciate all of the actual input. It was nicely phrased. It was very, very well proposed. Hey, by the way, and I'm surprised that I have never noticed that rotate QE comment when I bring up the actual haul, but it doesn't show up for everything, and it's so far out of the area that I normally look on screen and investigate that it's kind of useless. It seems like that should be lower middle of the screen, right below your actual, like, crosshair, it should have that in slightly larger bold text. So I'm, I might make that suggestion to the game developers. I don't know, we're gonna see. I'm gonna take this baby for a spin. I guess I have to get in on that side. And I will catch you folks in the next episode of Subnautica. I'm hoping that we can find some lithium, come back, and build a Cyclops. We'll see. I'll catch you folks later. Bye.